DukeNet operates a massive network. Uh, you know, a lot of cell sites, a lot of circuits, even one circuit, you know, one DS1 goes down, um, you know, our C-level, um, you know, guys are, are at it, they're in my office, you know, we're looking up, um, you know, how we can fix it, you know, what I can do to, to, uh, to help resolve that. And, you know, a lot of instances, you know, Tony, our COO, is on the phone with, with the customer, you know, a minute later, uh, showing them that, you know, warm and that next gen, next door kind of atmosphere of DukeNet. Uh, you know, and I think that the customers really appreciate that. You, know, you have big data going through a lot of these connections that we control uh, and operate for them. And a lot of times, if, if something can go down, it, it can mean big things for them. You know, they can lose entire markets. Uh, they can lose customers that you know, think that there's a better solution out there. Um, and I think that uh, you know, having that on us is, is, is a good thing, uh, as long as you can operate a reliable network and, and I think that uh, we do that. There's a lot of brilliant and imaginative people at DukeNet. Um, you know, I haven't quite had a chance to work with people like this before. And, uh, they're hand-picked people uh, you know, for creativity, uh, imagination. I think a lot of people have a lot of drive and, and initiative to get to that end goal um, you know, to provide that customer solution. Uh, you know, we're seeing these uh, new products, these new initiatives before a lot of other companies are seeing them and I think that we have a great future if we keep doing that.